Hi, welcome to PKS classes. Today we will study the drugs used for constipation. And constipation is a condition in which the gastrointestinal motility is decreased. So when the gastrointestinal motility decreases, the frequency of defecation decreases. Okay, so say less than three times a week, if there will be defecation, then we will call it constipation. So not only the frequency decreases, there is also hard stool. So there is hard stool. So that condition is called as called as constipation. Okay. So what is the way to treat? Then we can treat the constipation by drugs which can increase the motility. Okay, increase the motility. So gastrointestinal motility means the contraction of smooth muscles of GIT, contraction of smooth muscle of GIT causes the motility. So the GI contents move downwards from your uh, uh, esophagus to uh, stomach to small intestine to large intestine mm. and finally it is uh, excreted through rectum and anus okay so for that we call this motility or uh, uh, peristalsis this leads to peristalsis so peristalsis then causes the movement of GI content movement of GI content downwards and that causes the defecation okay. so any drug which can induce peristalsis that can be used for constipation okay so the drugs used for constipation are basically known as laxatives, purgatives, cathartics, drastics. So, so there are several names used for these drugs and nothing when the potency is mild mild potent then it is called laxative for moderate they are called purgatives or cathartics for severe we call it as drastics so the same drug can be a laxative as well as a purgative so in laxative there will be formation of soft stool Okay, so that there will be G defecation and uh, then little bit uh, more liquid. So when the liquid content increases, liquid content increases, so semi liquid stool, there will be semi liquid stool, then we call it purgative or cathartic, and when the water content is more and uh, we we have a fluid stool then we call it as drastics okay so the same drug can be a laxative as well as a purgative just you have to increase the dose increase the dose the laxative becomes the purgative so a cathartic uh, can be a drastic by just increasing the dose okay so <coughs> the drugs used let us discuss number one uh, bulk laxatives bulk laxatives so why it is called bulk bulk means the bulk of the GIT content ok so these drugs increase the GI content these drugs increase the GI content how they increase we take drugs like 
cellulose and cellulose derivatives for example methyl cellulose so the drugs which we take here are not digested okay so not digested they remain inside the git they, they are not absorbed so better they are not absorbed and when they are not absorbed they remain in the git and in presence of water they swell so when they swell they increase the gi content and when they increase the gi content they cause peristalsis okay so this increase in gi content acts as a stimulator for peristalsis so leads to defecation and they are called laxative because they have mild action okay so they are called laxatives then we have a second group of drugs called uh, osmotic purgatives okay so uh, let us uh, discuss another laxative surfactant laxatives surfactant laxatives so these are the the surfactant laxatives means uh, again they have surfactant action surfactant surfactant action means they reduce the surface tension they reduce the surface tension just like your uh, soap like action they, if when they reduce the surface tension they produce a uh, um, soft soft stool and this leads to eg defecation so the surfact uh, surfactants or surface active agents they can be used as this and this also again shows the laxative action and uh, examples like uh, glycerin dioctyl sodium sulfo succinate okay so we say we soap water enema so this is you, you can call as surfactant laxatives okay then we will have the third group the third group also called as uh, now we will discuss the say laxatives or as well as purgatives so osmotic purgatives we call them osmotic purgatives but they can have also laxative action okay why osmotic osmotic means they can induce osmosis and what is osmosis osmosis is a process in which the solvent move from low concentration to high concentration through a semi permeable membrane solvent moves from low concentration to high concentration through a semi permeable semi permeable membrane so here what happens that means we have the um, gi lumen and we have the gi wall okay so here what we have to do the water content here in the water content in the uh, lumen has to be increased so this acts as the semi permeable membrane okay the the cells on the g8 wall the cell membrane acts as the semi permeable membrane okay so water if water will move from the walls the cells of the wall into the lumen then this this can happen so for that we have to increase the uh, concentration of ions here so all the osmotic purgatives like magnesium sulfate magnesium hydroxide sodium sulfate sodium potassium tartrate so all these drugs they they 
are not absorbed and their content in the G80 lumen increases and when the content is increased in the lumen uh, so the water moves from low concentration in the cells of the walls to the lumen and the water content increases and when the water content increases it causes the peristalsis so again the water content increases means the GI content increases and when the GI content increases is induces peristalsis just like the first one where the GI content increases which induces the peristalsis okay then we'll have uh, the in number four number four uh, lubricant purgatives lubricant purgatives so here the example is liquid paraffin liquid paraffin and this liquid paraffin how it acts as a purgative liquid for paraffin forms a covering layer covering layer around the GIT wall so when the uh, when it forms a layer it prevents or inhibits absorption of water it inhibits absorption of water that means again the water content water content increases and water content increases means it will lead to peristalsis and will be defecation there will be defecation okay then number five number five we have uh, the drastics and uh, we also can call them as purgative irritant irritant purgatives irritant purgatives or drastics that that means they can they can produce liquid stool okay liquid stool so simil they can produce a condition similar to your diarrhea okay and uh, it uh, includes drugs like the anthraquinone glycosides anthraquinone glycosides so this anthraquinone glycosides for example senna aloe rhubarb rhubarb cascara all all these are the anthraquinone glycosides and uh, then we have uh, uh, vegetable oils vegetable oils like castor oil okay then we have uh, uh, diphenyl diphenyl methane derivatives methane derivatives the organic uh, uh, irritants uh, like uh, phenophthalein phenophthalein and um, sodium picosulfate picosulfate and we have uh, bisacoryl which is a derivative of your phenophthalein okay so all these drugs they have an irritant as a, a chemical constituent inside them so that irritant okay that irritant induces the peristalsis and the so all these drugs have one irritants okay, irritant this irritant induces peristalsis okay so this causes the uh, drastic action or purgative action okay besides all these five groups there can be use of uh, prokinetic agents prokinetic agents to know more about the prokinetic agents you can uh, see our video on the prokinetic agents mostly d2 receptor antagonists and uh, 5st4 agonists 
so this 5 h 2 4 agonists mainly uh, drugs like sizapride tegacirad okay they can be used in um, constipation uh, associated with diabetes so diabetes uh, gastric paresis condition in those conditions they can be used so constipation uh, can be relieved by using prokinetic agents and uh, the other 5 to 4 agonists are uh, sizapride mozapride etopride okay the number 7 there is a new drug uh, called chloride channel opener chloride channel opener and this uh, uh, chloride channel op opener example is lubiprostone lubiprostone and this lubiprostone uh, again um, by opening the chloride channel again just like this action it uh, increase the liquid secretion liquid secretion into intestine liquid secretion into intestine and uh, that can cause purgative action okay so these are all drugs used for constipation with uh, this thank you thank you so much